Shalom, my viewers all over the world. I want everybody to share this video, which I'm going to release right now. It's a message. Share it so that everybody can see it and view it and hear it live. But the message from above, from the creator of heaven and earth, particularly this message from Mr. Peter will be of Nigeria. He will repeat this message to me that I should call on you to be. And I want all viewers, my viewers, to hear this video. When we are anywhere you are, to be the witness. Yahweh told me that I should call you to be and let this message to him. That Yahweh said, from the, his mother's womb, Yahweh sent him to that to be family, to be the light of the family and bread -bearing. And Yahweh gave him wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. I'm marking you. We have two types of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. We have Lucifer's knowledge, understanding, and wisdom. We have God's, the creator of the earth, knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. I'm talking about you today. Yahweh gave you wisdom of God, knowledge of God, and understanding. And he has made him a ruler from his mother's womb. But one crucial thing from this message Yahweh sent me to be to be to let to be to be is that the two governments we have in the world today. One is government of God. And that government of God is superproof. In government of God, God has commandments. The Ten Commandments is his constitution written in Exodus. 20 verse 3 to 17. Again, he has what is called code of arm. The code of arm of God is called Sabbath day. And that Sabbath day is seven today. Sabbath day from Yahweh. Not first day of the week. But seventh day is Saturday. Seventh day. That's why Yahweh gave that sentence on that in Exodus. 31 verse 3 to 15. Peter, Yahweh, the great of that, warned you and he draw my ear that you draw your own ear and listen to the voice of the Lord your God. As in the time of Moses, when Yahweh sent Moses to deliver Israel like the Lord of Egypt, Yahweh sent him to nature to deliver Nigeria as Moses delivered Israelites from the of Egypt. Remember the battle between Israelite and Pharaoh, who defeated Yahweh defeated because Moses opposed the Ten Commandments of Yahweh. That is his weapon, that is battle. So Yahweh told me to tell the people to use Ten Commandments to defend Nigeria. So that you not walk in line to this first commandment. This one has his own commandment. His own commandment, he opposes Ten Commandments from one to end. But Yahweh told you to use that commandment and the judgment of God. We have judgment. Peter, the lawyer here. Yahweh, the creator of the land, has judgment. He has judgment. He has judgment. And that judgment of God is irrevocable. Any human being who tries to revoke God's judgment can go to the his of own destruction. Listen carefully. He said, I should warn you, if you don't use the commandment of God to change Nigeria, That six days in Nigeria, he has given you people to fight this battle. People have devoted their life to die in this battle to see that Nigeria is rescued from the hand of Lucifer. Lucifer operates with the shed of blood, armed robbers, hired killer, kidnappers, that they have filled all bush of Nigeria, all corner, killing people, killing blood, and nobody has gone to talk. But the young have given you ten commandments to fight this battle. If you deviate from this commandment, read it from Exodus 20 by 3 to 17. And read the judgment of God in 
Leviticus 26, verse 14 to 26. And read Deuteronomy 6, verse 24 and 25. And read Jeremiah chapter 6, verse 16 to 20. This is the work of and the power and authority from my book given to you. If you fail it, if you ignore it, the people that are looking around you right now, some of them are Lucifer's agent in this country. Some of them are Lucifer's agent. They belong to occultic powers, black ovary fraternity, occult powers. Many, many, many. Their work is to loot Nigeria treasury, to loot Nigeria mineral resources, to loot everything Nigeria has. Mark you that if Nigeria is 200 million of people, 10 million only to squash Nigeria mineral resources and want everything. What about 190 million? Think about it. That Yahweh has sent power, he has anointed you, and sent you as a saint to listen to God's word. Use God's word, God's power to deliver this nation with your people. You go back to study the judgment of God in the Holy Bible. Go back to study God's commandment in the Holy Bible. This is the work of you to be. Decide to tell me. This is the work of you are going to find this battle. Failing to use this work of you to find this battle. Well, you see what happened because they have prepared. And the people that have to rule Nigeria is Islamic nation, the whole world. They have assembled themselves. They have assembled themselves and only the, they have folded the whole Nigeria with weapons, bomb, death, every bush, every corner. We have seen it. The only weapon you have to do fight this battle is the government of Yahweh. The weapon that the government of Yahweh is, is irrevocable. It's authentic war. Power. Nobody can fight Yahweh. Nobody can fight God. If you miss this message, if you don't listen to this message, I'm here to tell you that. If you can have a chance to come and see me, I'll tell you details of it and how to do it. Because the, the people giving to you right now called obedient group. There are people out to die for this battle. So you see that there is the school Nigeria and put Nigeria in that one position. For the masses to utilize mineral resources, benefit in all the resources that we have given Nigeria. I'm just came down from the United States of America where I based ministry, the whole world. You see, they told me, many friends, my friends told me that Nigeria is one of the richest nations in the world. Because the whole mineral resources is in Nigeria. But these people covered it, these people stealing it, people stole everything we have. You know, if you leave them with this battle, I don't know. This is the message to be to me. Again, let me tell you. This coming election, see what's going to happen. Now, the, the, the Islamic people are ruling the Nigeria. You have told me that the Islamic people are ruling Nigeria. They have already read the election. They have already mapped out the person that they are going to talk that will do that. They to be so like the fire. But they have said no. That they are ready to fight. They are ready to scatter. But if they happen to do it, there will be shedding of blood. Big war, fighting war, fighting war. Look at the blood. Yeah. Look at blood. Look at blood. Look at fight. Look at bomb. In that six days, cut out. Look at bomb. Look at bomb. This bomb, oh, may Yahweh have mercy on Nigeria. May Yahweh have mercy on his people living in this country. Because already they have taken position. They have filled every corner of this country with their weapons, with their bombs, with their shells, with their cars, with their own very thing. They are dancing. What they are waiting now is to declare the war. If you please to be Nigeria, you choose me to be. If you don't want this election, they are going to fight. They are going to stand like this. But at the end, Yahweh will win with the Ten Commandment power. Win. And the government of God is called a cooperative government. No mercy for the faulters. This is what Yahweh said. Because no mercy for the faulters. He passed the judgment in every commandment he said. He passed the judgment in every commandment he said in Ten Commandments. That Ten Commandment is constitutional is there for one and his code of arm is summoned there. He said it. He put that sentence on it 
in Exodus chapter 1, verse 2 to 15. And he said in Exodus 20, verse 8, he remember. That's why he put remember in Saturday. Saturday is Saturday, some of the rest of the year. But the whole world has rejected it. Where do they reject it? The whole world is under calamity of God in Jeremiah chapter 6, verse 16 to 20. All the leaders of churches, all the leaders of churches in the whole world, they are operating in Lucifer's power, not to God's power, because they rejected the command of God. We are considered to read in the Bible. Go to the Gospel of Jesus, Mark chapter 7, 5 to 9. You see it there. Go to Matthew chapter 5, <coughs> verse 17 to 18. You see it there. Go to Matthew 24, verse 21 and 25. False Christ and false prophets. The filled with one nature of the world, Nigeria. You see. I can show you people that don't want God to to me about the leaders of church all over the world. They dance to the tune of Lucifer. They dance to the tune of even the American and the, 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 even the ministers of the ministers or president of the world. Because they have left on those things which God sent them among them to come and pray to the people, to save their souls, to save their souls. They have left it. They are preaching materialism, wealth, money, everything. Deceive the whole people of the world. That's it. That's it to the tune of evil spirit. That's it to the tune of oh, scattering the souls of people. Go to the Bible and see what I'm saying. Is it in the Bible? Read Revelation 21 verse 8, Revelation 21 verse 27. Read it. Go and listen to these things because don't pray. But Yahweh have appointed you to be, anointed you to be, equipped you to be with the spiritual powers. I'm not from a book more than the leaders of church because I can tell you it will be an exposed table. The work of Ten Commandment, which I was anointed, Yahweh sent me to this world to go and to expose table to the highest level. Our duty is to expose him to the highest level. This time I am, Yahweh has destroyed the leadership of Lucifer all over the world. They are given authority to the saints. 